And here we are on the South Klondike Highway, climbing out of Skagway, Alaska. March the 18th. And fairly heavy snow falling, and the temperature is 0 degrees Celsius. Uh, or actually, just dropped to minus 1, which is 30 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll show you some of the more interesting miles of this highway. Highway this time of the year. On the way down from Skag from Whitehorse, I saw one pickup truck and three semis, and that was it. In the hour and a half it took to get down. That's pretty normal for this time of the year. Coming up here is the U.S. Customs Office, where we have to stop coming down from Whitehurst. Of course, no stop going this direction. Seven of the highway. The Skagway River down on the right hand side, and on the other side of the valley or canyon is the White Pass and Yukon Route Railway, which is a summer only narrow gauge tourist operation. doesn't really show on the camera. It's a fairly steep climb up here. Don't really notice it too much in the car, but certainly in a semi or a bus you do. Mountains on both sides climb to in the 4,000 foot range, with a couple of them a fair bit higher, 5,500 or something. These gates are used to close the highway in the event of an avalanche and a snowplow coming down. So even though we passed U.S. Customs, we're still in Alaska for another five miles yet. And then Canada Customs is uh, about a dozen kilometers past that. It's sort of a no man's land here between the two customs offices.
minus 2 Celsius or 28 or so Fahrenheit. This is the uh, William Moore Bridge coming up. Quite a unique structure. <clears throat> unique because it floats free on one side. It's only attached on this side because it's over an active earthquake fault. Anyway, there's the South Columbia Highway in the wintertime.